call the meeting to order. Meeting of September the 20th, 2022. Before we get into the business for the town of Cobalt, out of respect and to honor our majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, I would like to have two more two minutes of silence if we can. Item number two, <coughs> disclosure of pecuniary interest and the general nature thereof. I've seen a disclosure. Item number three, approval or amendments of meeting agenda. Your Worship, go ahead. An amendment for tonight's agenda under section 9.1.3 of the procedural bylaw, bylaw of an urgent nature requiring immediate decision may be considered. This is time sensitive. It's required by October 1st, 2022. What it is is bylaw 2022 20, 20 being a bylaw to establish and appoint a Tenusming District Joint Compliant Audit Committee. It's going to be under section 10 under bylaws as 10.3. As per the Municipal Action Elections Act, a Compliance Audit Committee must be established prior to October 1st, 2022. On June 21st, 2022, Council adopted bylaw to participate in the Temiskaming District Joint Compliance Committee, and that's from Tomogamy to Kirkland Lake. The committee placed an ad for members with no interest until this week where three members and two alternatives have come forward. So bylaw 2022-20 being a bylaw to establish and appoint the Temiskaming District Compliance Audit Committee is being presented for adoption. Uh, there is one other small uh, amendment. It's a grammatical correction in tonight's agenda. In 10.2, it states uh, under number one that bylaw 2006 13 of the town of Cobalt, it should read bylaw 2022 24. Thank you kindly. Okay. Uh, be it resolved that council approve the agenda of the regular meeting dated September 20th, 2022, as presented. A mover and a seconder, please. Matthew and Angela, is there any discussion on the agenda? All in favor? Very good. Thank you. Item four approval of minutes. Be it resolved that council approve the following minutes as presented. Committee of the Whole, September the 6th, 2022. A mover and a seconder. Pat and Doug, is there any discussion, errors or omissions on the minutes? All in favor? Thank you. Is there any business arising from the minutes? None. Inquiries, members of the general public? Either. Okay, no delegations or presentations, no business arising from delegations and presentations. Items for council direction, 
2021 financial statement and 2022 letter of engagement. Be it resolved that Council accept the 2021 financial statement and the 2022 letter of engagement as presented by Captain Elliot and Blair, professional chartered accountants. A mover and a seconder, please. Matthew and Doug. Is there any discussion on the financial statement or the letter of engagement? All in favor? Thank you. 9.2 is a resolution of support for Bouquet Strickland, RE Ontario, one call locates. Be it resolved that council support the township of Bouquet Strickland and request that staff forward a letter to the Ministry of Government and Consumer Services, Ontario, one call and GTEL, and express concern about the excessive wait time for locates and the negative impact that it has caused on an uh, and call on the provincial government to streamline and advance development in a safe and cost-effective manner for residents and businesses and communities that they serve. A mover and a seconder, please. Angela and Pat. Is there discussion on the resolution? All in favor? Carried. 9.3 items for council information. Municipal planning consultant. Official plan and zoning plan. Be it resolved that council accept the items for council direction and information as presented. A mover and a seconder, please. Pat and Angela. Any discussion on none? All in favor? Carry. 10. 10 Item 10, 10.1, bylaw 2022 being a bylaw to repeal the official plan in accordance with section 1722 of the Planning Act RSO 1990 as amended. Whereas the official plan for the town of Cobalt was adopted by bylaw 1997-019 and whereas the official plan is outdated and council has directed that a new official plan be prepared. Whereas the Council of the Town of Cobalt has undertaken all the public and agency consultations required under Section 17 of the Planning Act regarding a new, the new official plan and has informed the public that it intends to rescind the current official plan and replacing it with a new official plan. Now, therefore, the Council of the Town of Cobalt hereby enacts as follows. One, that bylaw 1997-019 of the Town of Cobalt that has the effect of repealing the 1989 official plan and adopting a new official plan is hereby repealed. That item two, that council shall use the provincial policy statement and the growth plan for Northern Ontario as a basis for planning decisions until such time as a new official plan is adopted by council and approved by the Ministry of Municipal Affairs. And three, that bylaw shall come into full force and take effect on the day of the final passing hereof. This is read a first, second, and third time, and finally passed in local council this 20th day of September 2022. And further, that said bylaw be signed and sealed by the mayor and clerk. Mr. Mover and a seconder, please. Matthew and Angela. Is there any discussion on bylaw? Go ahead, Councillor. I'm uh, just wondering, uh, Mayor, could you refresh our minds on why we need counseling this before the new one is approved? Uh, we would, I, the best I can give you, I guess maybe Jim Diamond can probably answer that better than I can, but the reason I feel it's being approved is because our other one has gone to a way through ministry and it will be a while before we get a chance to. Jim, could you uh, give a better answer to that one than I can? Yeah, I'll do my best, Mr. Mayor, and thank you. Um, it's an excellent question and it's an unusual circumstance. To be honest with you, in 43 years, I've never done this before. Um, the Planning Act under Section 24 says that um, council cannot adopt a zoning bylaw that does not comply with its official plan. And your current official plan is very old and very restrictive. And so what we have done through the year long process that we've been working on this project is we've created a new official plan that is not as restrictive and not as complicated. Um, 
And then, as you will recall, in the springtime, we had said, really, you need a zoning bylaw so that people can get building permits faster, um, and we should do the bylaw at the same time. And so this new bylaw that I hope you'll be dealing with next does not comply with your current official plan. It's much more permissive than your current official plan. And in order to not contravene Section 24 of the Planning Act, you have to first rescind your existing official plan before you pass the new zoning bylaw. Now, I wouldn't normally recommend that we do this, but the reality is um, we provided the draft official plan to the Ministry of Municipal Affairs in April of this year, and they had said that they would have comments to us in 90 days. So that would have put them in the middle of July to have comments. And in a perfect world tonight, I'd be, I'd be bringing you both an official plan and a zoning bylaw. But in the absence of ministry comments on your official plan, we can't move forward with it. And in the year and a half or so I've been working with Cobalt, I've really seen the need to have more permissive zoning. So the only way to pass a zoning bylaw at this stage that gives you all of the permissions and all of the things that I've heard from people wanting to do, tiny houses, uh, secondary dwelling units, being allowed to expand your house if you're legal non-conforming, being allowed to have a garage on a legal non-conforming lot, reducing lot sizes to um, allow buildings on smaller lots. All of those things we've talked about are in the new zoning bylaw. Um, so out of, in order to comply with Section 24 of the Planning Act, you need to get rid of your old official plan so you can pass your new zoning bylaw. I'll keep working with the Ministry of Municipal Affairs on your official plan, but my guess is we're gonna be April or May of next year, certainly after this term of council, before we can hammer out a new official plan. Um, and if need be, we'll come back and revisit the zoning bylaw. But uh, if you wanna be able to have people issue, or your chief building official issue building permits with these new regulations, you need to pass the bylaw first and rescind your old official plan. Thank you. Any other questions? It to me. Yeah. All in favor? <laughs> Ten point two bylaw twenty twenty two dash twenty four being a bylaw to repeal the existing zoning bylaw and accept a new zoning bylaw. One that bylaw twenty twenty two dash twenty four of the town of Cobalt upon this bylaw coming into force and effect bylaw number twenty. 006-13 of the Town of Cobalt. All amendments there who are hereby repealed. Item two, this bylaw shall come into force and effect on the date it is passed by the Council of Incorporation of the Town of Cobalt subject to the applicable provisions of the Planning Act, RSO 1990, P13 as amended. Read the first second and third time and finally passed in open council this 20th day of September 2022 and further that said bylaw be signed and sealed by the mayor and clerk. A mover in the seconder please. Pat and Doug, is there any discussion on this item? All in favor? Carry. Okay, 10.3 bylaw. Thank you, no. Mayor and Council. Thank you, sorry, Jim. Thank it's you. okay. 10.3, bylaw number 2022-20, being a bylaw to establish and appoint the Commissioning District Joint Compliance Audit Committee. And that the bylaw shall come into force and effect upon the day of passage, and the first, second, and third time, and finally passed this 20th day of September 2022. A mover and a seconder. Matthew and Pat, for any comment, any discussion? All in favor? Terry, thank you. Okay. Item 11, 11.1, .1, schedule of accounts. Draft motion, be it resolved that council receive the following schedules as presented. Schedule number 2022-16 in the amount of $111,699.13 and schedule number 2022-17 in the amount of $221,100.16. A mover and a seconder, please. Doug and Pat, is there any discussion, any comments on the schedule of accounts? 
All in favor? Carry. We have no motion in which prior notice has been given. We have no mayor's report, no notice of motion. No councilor updates? Councilor questions and answers? No closed session? No business arising from the closed session. Item 19, adjournment. Be it resolved that the regular meeting of council be adjourned at 6.48. A mover, <laughs> Doug, <laughs> and Matt. All in favor? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.